almost got it. Uh ha! Don't forget to subscribe. Hi everyone, my name is Ursuline, you can call me Ursa, and today we're going over how I make my HD skins. Just like the ones you see going across your screen right now, these are all skins that I have made for various projects and commissions, and how you can make your own HD skins from beginning to end. From making the skin, to putting it into Minimator to check the skin, to using more player models to actually like use your skin in game. So we're going to be covering those and I've also provided a few assets that I have made in the description of this video to make it a little bit easier for you. And we're gonna address those in just a minute. So for now, we're just going to look at the last few skins up here. Um, don't really mind what they're doing, that's not important. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what sort of things we need to download first. So, you are going to need some sort of drawing software in order to make the skin. As long as the drawing software lets you change the size of the image and save it as a transparent PNG file, you can make Minecraft skins in it. For this, I suggest Fire Alpaca. It's the one I use. Totally, completely free. Good for uh, Windows or whatever version of computer you have. You're going to go to this, which I will link in the description, and download Fire Alpaca. It'll take a little bit to get used to. You, I highly suggest having a drawing tablet because doing it with a mouse will be very difficult. But Fire Alpaca is the um, drawing software that I use for my skins. All right, so this is a 1.7.10 skin map. This is what you use for versions of the game under 1.7.10. If you want to see how I make skins with this specific um, template, then you're going to go to my old tutorial uh, for HD skins. But because this is a little outdated now, this is what we're going to be working with. This is the 1.12 point, well actually no, it's the 1.8 whatever above skin, but I think of it as the 1.12.2 skin. This is four layers. Um, you have the head layer, the hat, and the top and bottom, uh, the body, and then we have a lot of floating layers that we don't have in the 1.7.10. This looks incredibly complicated. The download for this will be in the description, and I have separated it into four parts. There are the part labels for both the full skin map and the simple skin map. If you want to just use the simple skin map, you're going to make this invisible and this invisible. And this is all that you're left with. It is basically the same thing as the 1.7.10 skin map, but with like, you know, a, a separate arm and leg for the left and right side of the body. On the 1.7.10, it would mirror the left and right leg. So you had the same um, image on both. In this version, you don't have that. You have a distinct layer for the left and right leg and arm. So I'm not going to show you the full skin map usage. I think you can kind of suss it out on your own if you have any familiarity with this at all. Like if you've worked with regular Minecraft skins with the pixels, you'll know that this is the layer that floats over everything. Like if you were doing extra detail, and then everything else is the base of the layer. So that's what we're just going to be working with here. But Ursa, I hear you say, what if I already have a pixel skin that I want to turn into an HD skin? Do I have to start over from scratch? No, no you don't. All you have to do is take your pixel skin and scale it up. So in whatever um, drawing software you're using, you're going to go where you can change the size and scale it up to like 40, 96. And there you go. Now it's big enough for you to draw on and make into an HD skin. I suggest going and grabbing the skin map and just copying that, pasting it underneath your pixel skin. That way, you can get rid of this layer and just select the face if you want to work on the face, you know, that way you're not drawing outside of the lines. You can make another layer, say you want to 
do that thing that people do where they literally just make the eyes shiny. You don't want to go for the whole HD skin, you just want to make the eyes look fancy. You can do that. You can just give them a little bit of a glow, add some little stars in there, add some little shiny bits, and you know you've got a significantly more HD looking skin than you had before. Um, forgive the not really dramatic HD eyes, but like, you know, for a quick example. So um, you can do that. If you wanted to just take the hair and make the air, hair HD, you can do that. All you have to do is just go over it. Um, I really suggest drawing the hair over the face layer, that way you know how it will lay on the eyes. Because if you like just kind of squiggle it, it'll just go wherever. You want to kind of go up here, make it really curly maybe, or straight, however you want your hairstyle to be. And you just go from there, like that. And then you would just click and drag it, because look, the way that you want your hair to be isn't how this is. So you would like do whatever you need to customize it, make it whatever you want it to be. And there you go, you can scale up your uh, pixel skin into an HD skin. Just be aware if you have an Alex skin like I do here, uh, these pixels are going to be off. It needs to be, that needs to be part of the shirt, this needs to be part of the arm, stuff like that. So just be aware of that um, if you have a Steve versus an Alex skin. This is for the Steve and I don't think more player models actually supports having the Alex skins because you'll just have that part be blank right here. So, um, we're going back to our skin map here, and let's go ahead and see if I have any speed paints that can be an example of our process here, just so I don't have to make a whole new speed paint for this. All right, so here is a example of a skin that I made for a commission a while ago. This is Gregory from FNAF. You can see in the bottom right corner there, I have my reference pulled up so I can pull colors directly off of it, see how the character looks. If you're working with an original character, you obviously don't have to do this unless you already drew a reference for yourself. Um, usually I start with the face, but for this one I wanted to make sure I got the outfit correct because you can't actually see his entire outfit in this. So I went and I started working on the shorts, his shoe, um, and I'm only working on one leg because on this character both legs are the same so I'm going to end up just copying and pasting to flip it on over. That's the easiest way to do it. Obviously, if you have a character wearing um, like a pocket watch in their pocket or they have two different legs or maybe um, like ratty jeans or something, you're going to want to be able to mix up the textures and, you know, make it different on each leg. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I went ahead and moved over to the torso of the character, started adding on details of the shirt, stuff like that. And these are all optional details depending on what character you're drawing, what you're doing, it's going to turn out a little bit different. You can add as much or as little detail as you want. This one was a relatively simple uh, skin, so I just went over, added detail where I know it should be right there you see how I'm still using my my own skin reference there at the bottom to select certain areas to copy them over and paste them over to get it right um, because it can be very easy to make it not in the lines and then you have floating lines places uh, and that's very difficult and irritating when you don't know where they came from. So try to stay inside the lines. Uh, the fill tool on Fire Alpaca can be a little difficult. Now that we're getting into the face details, I'm going to go over a couple of things. Um, it's important that you use the flip tool here because any asymmetry on a face is going to be very visible. Because we do have symmetry in our features, and on Minecraft especially, being able to see that on a square character <laughs> is very evident. Um, no matter what your style is, if you go in there and everything's kind of wonky, it's not going to look finished. So I suggest using the copy and paste tool, flipping things around, changing proportions and sizes. Uh, try. You can have big eyes, small eyes, it doesn't matter as long as you're making it look 
like it fits the model. Um, usually if you think about it on the pixel skins, the eyes take up two to four blocks, maybe even more, or pixels, not blocks, but you know what I mean. So here, the proportions also have to match up. Um, and for the hair, like I was saying earlier, you want to do it on a separate layer, have it over the face so you see where it falls, and then you're going to see in a minute that after I shade everything, I'm going to draw guidelines for me to move it over to the floating layer of the hair. Um, and that's going to make it a little bit easier for me. This is not necessarily a drawing tutorial, it's just showing you my process. That way you're a little bit more familiar when you jump into it you're on your own. Um, let's see. I flipped around the hair a couple of times to see if I liked the way it looked better. I changed the textures and the darkness of it. Um, there's a lot of different tools on Fire Alpaca that can make this easier. But if you're not familiar with it, or if you're using a different um, drawing software, then it really won't affect you much. Uh, move it around, play with it, you know? And one of the tips that I can give you for human characters is draw one side of the head first with the ear and then flip it again so it has that symmetry because we are not perfect, but we do have symmetry. We have one ear on one side, one on the other. They're usually about the same size. So we're going in, adding shadows and details. I don't go overly detailed on this guy, um, but it really depends on you, your style. Uh, just as an example, I know a lot of people like to give very realistic hair to their um, HD Minecraft skins. I don't personally like that very much. So I just end up adding, you know, the little stripes to the hair that make it look shiny. Once your skin is done, you're going to end up with something like this. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you delete the skin map base before you save your skin. You're going to go to file, you're going to save it as a PNG, and you're going to make sure you save it as transparent. Uh, if you don't save it as transparent, all of the white space is going to wrap over your character. Remember that floating space that we were talking about earlier? That's going to become your enemy, so make sure you save it as transparent. After you have your skin saved, I recommend grabbing it and putting it on your desktop because we're going to go ahead and look at some other things. Now, so for some of the downloads, I, you don't have to do this. Personally, I really, really, really depend on Mindimator for checking my skins. That way I don't have to log on to a Minecraft world every single time I make an adjustment to a skin. This is much faster than having to load up every time. So that uh, download is in the description as well. Again, you don't have to do this. If you want to just check your skin in Minecraft, you can. I suggest downloading Mindimator. Um, just because you can put HD skins on the characters and you don't have to use it to, my, to animate if you don't want to. So when you download Minimator, that's going to look like this, uh, except you won't have any recent projects. I'm going to make a new one just for the tutorial and I'm going to create. We end up in this little area here. Um, this is just going to be literally just for me putting the skin down. I'm going to click on this little bench, click on the little person, add a Steve, and then grab my skin off of the desktop. And I'm going to click create. And here he is. So we can see what we've got to work with here. Everything looks good to me, but say maybe you made the hair layer too small. It would show up on this character and you'd be able to go back and you'd be able to fix it in your um, your fire alpaca or whatever your drawing software is. Scale up the hair and boom, it fits. So we have our little character guy here. He looks good. We checked it in Minimator. We can go all the way around. Hey, look at that. I forgot the bottom of the feet. You know, that's probably something that I could fix. But uh, yeah, so if I wanted to, I could go back over into Fire Alpaca and I can do the bottom of the feet, which should be that square right there. That's definitely why we had that problem. Uh, so yeah, checking your skins, being able to do a full 360, very helpful. 
after you check your skin, you are going to want to go ahead and download our next thing here, which is more player models. Now, you need modded, modded Minecraft in order to do anything with Minecraft HD skins. I don't think there are mods for mobile Minecraft yet, guys. I'm sorry. If there are, correct me. Uh, I'll make another tutorial later on when that's possible. But for now, you can only mod um, certain versions of the game. Any version of the game you have more player models for, I assume that you can do it. So you're going to go, you're going to download more player models. If you need a tutorial for how to use mods, there are thousands, literally thousands online. So um, you're going to download more player models. The version of Minecraft I'm using for this is 1.12.2 because that's what I already have downloaded. And I'm going to pop into a single player world, my, my tutorial skin check, which I already have. I'm also going to make that bigger so that you guys can see it a bit easier. And here's what we're going to do. In the game, I'm going to hit F12, and if I have downloaded everything correctly, it's going to open up this little uh, dialog box here, or interactive box, and I'm going to click edit. This is our interface for the more player models mod. I'm going to go to options, and here's what I have here. I have skin URL. But Ursa, where am I going to get a skin URL for my skin that I just made? Well, do I have an answer for you, my friend? We're going to go over to our um, uploader thingy of choice. Uh, for me, that's Imgur. It's, it's Imgur.com. You go over to Imgur and you click on images after you sign in. You're going to have to log in for this, but I mean, if you're making HD skins, you're going to need this anyway. You're going to add your image. I've already done this. You can see our lovely little um, Gregory skin is right here. I'm going to copy the direct link. The direct link. Make sure you copy the direct link. Not the image link, not the markdown link, the direct link. Then I'm going to go back into Minecraft, Control V, which will paste this link into this box here. Make sure you click in the box first. Now, do not click select. Press enter on your keyboard. Again, do not click select because if you do that and press done, it will crash your game. I don't know why, it just does. So press enter and then click this little X in the top corner. And there we go. We've got our, our nice sweet boy Gregory right here hanging out. He's got his bandaid on his face. And yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. You can use this on um, multiplayer servers. If it's your server, a friend's server, as long as they have more player models as the same version as you do, you can see it and they can see it too. Uh, if it's like a big server, like Hypixel or something, uh, probably won't be able to see it. It used to be that way. I don't know if it's that way anymore. It depends on if they have it enabled or not. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask in the comment section below. I will do my best to respond to every single question and answer every question. Um, if I get one question a lot, I will pin it and I'll put it in a most frequently asked questions section. Um, again, the only thing I can think of that I didn't cover in this tutorial is uh, how to download mods. But again, there's over thousands and thousands and thousands of tutorials on how to do that on, on YouTube to begin with. This was specifically just for making skins. And look at this, I even made a nifty little um, like outline for every part of it. So <laughs> I don't know, I was trying really hard to be uh, productive with this. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if there's something that I haven't covered, I will do my best to address that for you. Oh yeah, and um, if you wanna support the channel, there's a couple links in the description. You can buy me a coffee if you want. You don't have to. I'd appreciate it. I do like coffee. Um, but yeah. So you guys will have a good day. Bye. <laughs>